Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during two episodes one and two of Working. Okay, so I really don't know anything about this show. Um, the only thing that I, I can instantly compare it to as seeing by pictures is Blennis. So I feel like it's going to be just as funny as Blennis, maybe funnier. I don't know. I mean, mm, I really don't know who's cast in this. We'll find out as we go, but. Okay, right, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. And see, now you're making me hungry because I haven't eaten. Well, I mean, there's more girls than guys, so maybe a, it, it, it has to be a guy. <laughs> there's our guy. She has like the freaking positivity of fucking Uzuki. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Literally, Uzuki or any protagonist from Idol Lasher who is usually the main character, the symbol of like whatever Idol Lasher season we're in. But, like, damn. She's so positive. Like, oh my god, we love her. She's cute though. So short too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh, what? 
It's an interesting name. I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So short. Mm -hmm. You want some help? I mean, hold on, wait. They don't have a step still for her? Yeah, I, I think he's got it too. Because you wouldn't think that, you know, the person who's tall would be the younger one and the person who's short is the older one. You'd think it's the other way around. Why do you have a sword? Um, okay. Yachiro, you are very similar to, um... <laughs> my best girl, Missy Winter Rabbit. <laughs> oh, no, my second best girl. <laughs> Except, she didn't have a sword. She had a gun. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's falling off. You know, you could be in disguise. Water. old are you serious well, Jesus, they didn't have you like you know do your schedule and everything I mean Jesus yeah. No, you know what? No, that's for <laughs> Just listen to popular, please. Cause oh my god. <laughs> Boy, oh my god. <laughs> I I can't.
I figured this would happen. Oh, she is the manager. Something about this little Zoom setup. Mm. What the fuck did she just call? Oh my god. Is she the female Kyoya? I mean, guy, you got money? <laughs> no. What's in the box? Uh, step still. <laughs> no. I hope so. I mean, because we're almost done with this part. Half of them, I'm just saying. Oh, 
possibly her. Oh god. <laughs> Well, yeah. Oh, you're adorable, I would too, if I was a guy. <laughs> be a lot funnier than Lennon. Okay. <clears throat> I like everybody. Everybody's interesting. My hero, I don't know about you yet, girl. I mean, <laughs> she's still interesting, though, but, like, ooh. Oh, God. I, I can't imagine her, like, going to the store or going anywhere and, like, out pops a guy and then, you know, <laughs> he gets his ass beat. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, <laughs> are you serious? Oh my God. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, you know, if you're walking alone by yourself one night and if someone jumps out and scares, I, I do the same thing too. I punch him in the face, you know, that's why you always have to have a weapon with you. It could be your keys, um, your fist, your bag. I can't say a knife, but bring a knife. Because, you know, some states in America, they don't allow that. Mm -mm. Maybe um, a taser, mm -hmm. pepper spray. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, she seems the youngest. Okay, so listening more and more to our male main character, and I think this is him, <laughs> I can hear it at times, but not as much. I think if it's like, if he went like an octave higher, but also deeper at the same time, and this could be him, and it seems like him, because it'll be really funny, because then it's now officially two shows that I'm watching him, in, and I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> this sounds like, um... He sounds like Jun Fuki, Fukuyama, I think that's how you say his last name, um, who is in freaking Love Chunabu. 
fucking Kogi has. Persona 5. Because he really does, honestly, at the end of the day. Only, like, if he does a moment where he's almost, like, yelling or something. Or any time when he's talking about popular, like, a little teeny tiny bit. Like, if you just listen really carefully, like, he kind of sounds like him. And if it is him, I mean, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Everybody knows how I feel about him. He's like one of my other personal faves. And it'll be officially like, what, four animes that I've seen? No, five. It'll be five because he played one of my other favorite clamp characters, fucking Watsunuki. Um, but yeah, I really like everybody. I think this is going to be freaking hilarious. But I mean, oh my God, like, it's just going to be, it's like, if Blennis and then any typical romance type anime had a child together. But this came out way, way, way before um, Blennis did because I think this came out 2010, 12. It had to come out while I was still in high school. Maybe middle, yeah, high school. I don't think it came out while I was in middle school. I don't know. But yeah! <laughs> They're all interesting characters. They kind of remind me of, um, not really delinquents, but just a group of random people or, like, a really good group of friends that you hang out with or when, you know, it's your first day of school, you're the new kid and you're meeting everybody for the first time and you're sitting here like, should I really, like, talk and befriend these people? <laughs> like, I don't know. You don't know if you're vibe. You're going to have really a connection with them. I mean, hey, I think everybody personally feels about that, whether it's your coworkers or friends or whoever, because you just don't know how um, they're going to act around you all the time. And that's why a lot of people don't mix friends with other friends, because you don't really know how it's going to go. Because, like, you have, you know, your friends to chill with, your work friends, you know, um the friends that you do whatever with. I don't know. Like, you, you have a certain voice for all your friends and coworkers and it's like that. I don't know. But, <laughs> like that. but, yeah, it's freaking cute and I love it and it's just adorable and popular. It's just, she's cute and she's funny. I, I don't know. She kind of, like, mm, if she doesn't also remind me of Uzuki, she kind of reminds me of Toru. She is very klutzy. A lot. <laughs> Um, Yachiro, uh, I have a lot of questions about her. Like, why in the world are you carrying a sword at work? Like, um, I mean, yeah, she seems like my second best girl from Izzy Gordon the Rabbit. Like, definitely, because the fact is they're both carrying weapons at their job. So you're just in there like, okay, is that your, um, not persona, but, um, you like your characteristic in a way. And that's what it seems for her. But, yeah, I ain't gonna know until I watch episode two. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two is three, two, one, go. Oh my god, that might be. Oh. And girls aren't. Yeah, but how do you? Let me guys, you have to deliver it to a guy. Go ahead, my hero, be funny. Oh my god. You know, 
I think you got it. Well, yeah, it's okay, but still, I mean, what if she punches someone and they want to sue? <laughs> Just learn to work with him. You got this. You'll be okay. This is just if Joker took the route and he was like, I'm gonna date Futaba. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you deserve that punch. Mm -hmm. I know this might be a sort of a beautiful relationship between these two. Or, um, someone's gonna die. <laughs> agreement that they both would have signed, dated, and everything, so that just in case anybody, this is what every male customer needs to do when they go into this place, sign an agreement that just in case they can't sue. <laughs> they can't sue. <laughs> oh my god. Bruh, <laughs> can you imagine that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Not really, but oh my god. Bruh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Um, you okay? I mean, she hit you really hard. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh. She 
Let's write them. I mean, but still, I haven't done anything to you, but you know, but still, I get the fact that yes, some guys are scary. Not all guys are scary, but still. Yeah, it is more popular. Something. Okay. Goodness, I ask for you like every single one. <laughs> There's got to be a reason on why you know she is like this. Maybe something happened to her when she was a kid. You know what? Just calm down. Take your Lelouch. Your um. Watsunuki and your Joker. <laughs> Just, you know, calm that down on your inner thoughts. Damn, oh my God. Just because. She is lit. Oh my god. I, I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. If that is her trying, I mean... Ah! Well, maybe she got her boyfriend. I mean, but she just met him, so I'm gonna go. Mm hmm like her. Yeah, like a puppy. She just lost like all her confidence right there. It's so distracting.
Yeah, he mainly goes back and forth between, like, his Watanuki voice and a little bit of his Lelouch little <laughs> voice of the voice because when he's, like, <laughs> I can't, I can't girl this right now. I'm sorry, I know that was random, but... <laughs> Yeah, so when they're sitting, you look taller. Oh God! Here we go. Yeah, popular is a seventeen-year-old. I can't with this deep voice, please, sir. I mean, d d <laughs> Don't kill anybody today. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's have a talk real quick.
Yeah, I'm, I'm still wondering that too. <laughs> we are episode two, and we didn't even get answered about that. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, apparently it is. I mean, they, you know, been doing this for how long? Hmm. I love the fact that he doesn't correct her. It's so cute. But when it's somebody else, it's like, mm, I need to correct this man. Oh god, I, I thought she was just... Uh... So close. You go into the hospital, Jesus Christ. Give one punch, man. I'll run for her money, his money. I mean, like, oh, I, I can't imagine, like, how, oh, God, like, her fucking right. Oh, damn. I mean, I've never really punched anyone before. Um, girl. <laughs> I've played fight, I've played fight before, but, like, oh, my God. I, I would be really scared of her. If I was a guy, I mean, I'd just be like, you know, let me ask my manager, can you put us on opposite days, please? Like, we're, you know, we ain't gotta, you know, see each other. But you know what? I'm glad that my hero is working towards it to be a better person. So maybe possibly by the end of the series, she might not hit him as much. Maybe. I don't know. I'm scared for him. Like, oh my God. Damn. I wasn't expecting, like, episode two to have a co-worker. Like, co-workers not be able to get along with each other. But I feel like they're still going to be able to get along with each other. But it's just the thing that is the problem. <laughs> She's afraid of men. But still, I just really want to know the ish on my hero. Like, why does she not like men that much? Oh. 
Oh, okay. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, be popular is just that voice of reason character. Okay, hold on. Let me say this real quick. If I can literally compare <laughs> the relationships of the guys with popular, <clears throat> I'm not here. And I'm only going to say this because literally just seeing it, it is so similar to Triple X Holic. I mean, mm. okay. So in, in the show, Triple X Holic, because he's in it as well, I, I don't remember um, not Watanuki. It's Watsunuki Himari and... No, Watsunuki Hirumawari and that one. I don't remember his fucking name. It's been a while since I've seen it. Um, the guy who ends up having, like, a really good friendship with him in the show, like, in the beginning, like, they fought, like, a lot. And so you can see that with Sota and Popular, like, that's literally freaking Watsunuki and Himawari together. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm my own freaking girl. I can't. But then having, like, him and freaking Mahiru, like, it just reminds you of, like, any episode in Triple X like, where they always argued. And you're just like, I love you too so much, but like, oh my god, for five seconds, stop arguing. But that was their relationship with them. And so I feel like it's going to be like that with this show, but except them not really arguing every single week. I mean, my hater's just going to beat the shit out of him. And I'm just going to be over here like, mm hmm. This code for I like you, I tolerate you, but I still don't know how I personally feel about you because, you know, hey, you're a guy, this is my personal space, you know, you're my bubble, and you just need to back the heck off. I don't know. I mean, it, there seems like there has to be something about Mahiru and why she is the way she is. So hopefully there has to be an episode, whether I think the show has like four seasons, I believe it's either three or four, um, that goes a little in depth into her past, especially like, cause something had to happen. This girl is freaking what, um, 17 years old. And so between the time she was born up to now, there had to be something of why. I mean, but okay, here's the one thing I want to know. If she is afraid of men, which is, we've seen two episodes into this show that she is, how the heck is she around her dad then? That's what I want to see. That's it. Two things. Write that in there. How the heck is she around her dad and what led up to her becoming like this? That's all. And then you can do, you can end the show right there. I'm just kidding. But, like, seriously, honestly, that's the biggest thing that I really want to know right now. I think they're going to possibly put it in, like, a really fun, twisted way. But then I'm just going to be sitting here, like, laughing. But then in my mind, I'm like, are you freaking serious? Like, mmm. -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can't always take the manager seriously. I love her. <laughs> She says what's on her mind, and I like that about people. I like, you know, you're not bullshitting it. You're not beating around the bush. You're just saying what you feel at that moment. I mean, she seems a little... Would I say lazy? Kind of. Not really. But, I mean, you know, she has uh, freaking Gashido doing almost everything. Which, I mean, is interesting because I love the fact that she's like, yeah, I'm gonna have her do this because... Regardless of whatever sex it is, I'm still going to punch him in the face. And I'm like, okay. She ain't your typical manager, but I like her. I knew. So I just, I feel like, yes, there's going to be an episode where she is possibly also really, even though she did an episode one, she kicked some kids' ass. 
she's gonna do it again. I, I feel it in my gut. If she doesn't kick their ass, she's gonna, she's gonna call someone and then she's gonna be like, hey, mm -hmm. you know, finish the job, mm -hmm. take the money from them. It's like that. I mean, girl. <laughs> Like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't. But she's interesting. All these characters are interesting. And I hope and pray that we get, like, um, a little more backstory on everybody. And to see what their lives were like before they got a job here. It would be nice. I'm just saying. That's all. Mm -hmm. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to it. <laughs> one and two of working if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially on next friday for patreons and uh next thursday i was about to say monday next thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four bye guys